here begins the Essex Way, a long distance footpath out to the Essex coast. And this is the end of the central line. Beyond this point here, you have to travel by route master bus and steam train, and they are running today. Just over the road from the tube station, we find this delightful little path that leads us into the countryside. Of course, I'm uh, only walking a short portion of the Essex Way today. I'm just going to walk out to Ongar and then weigh up my options from there, but I'll probably run out of daylight to go much further. But this is a walk I've been wanting to do for a long time, actually. I've started out to Ongar one um, New Year's Day, and uh, the light let me down. <laughs> I got nearly there. And I've walked this little bit here, the first little section of Essex Way I've walked a couple of times, but never all the way out to Ongar, so this is great. Really, I really felt the need for a, a field path walk today and the need to get out into the countryside, the open fields. And this is perfect. It's the 15th of September and it's 26 degrees today. Glorious sunshine. We're right on the edge of London here. This is the symbol guiding us today, this little poppy. It's just before half past two. Sunset is at 7.15, the last of the longer evenings of the year. We've got about a month till the clocks change and suddenly it's dark at about half four. So you have to make the most of these lovely light evenings. I've walked along this footpath uh, a few times over the years. We're never in this direction, always heading back in towards Epping. And I don't think I've walked along at this time of year, normally later in the autumn and in the winter. The sound of walking at this time of year is the sound of cob nuts crunching underfoot. I love it. It evokes something very old, almost ancient. These kind of green ways here you can imagine have existed for all. A long time. I think this is called Stewards Green Lane or something like that. Gives you a sense of passing through time. I think this is a very old pub, the Thaden Oak. I always keep meaning to come back and never do. For another day, I reckon. And there's our little poppies up there on the footpath sign, taking us back across the fields. Sometimes I really need walks like this to get out into the open space, away from the city, away from all the kind of hullabaloo and the the noise, not just the, the noise of the cars and the traffic, look an aeroplane up there, but kind of like the noise of culture, the noise of activity, if you like. And out here, everything's very straightforward in a way. Until I get lost, of course, and then things get really complicated and you wish you were in a city street <laughs> with an A to Z in your hand. But, uh, you know, this is... This is delightful and necessary. I think it was winter when I walked along here, or well, very late autumn. It looked very different. That's the great thing when you walk the same paths, but just at different points of the year and you see those transitions. The landscape cloaked in different guises. And we're about to leave the sunshine pitching into this field and enter those woods over there. I think they're called Gurnan bushes, I believe. 
There'll be a remnant of the old forest of Essex at any rate, whatever they're called. Into the woods. When I, um, when I walk in the woods like this, I always think of medieval travellers. Kind of pilgrims. And other people that spent time on the roads navigating the ancient forests which would have been quite dangerous places then there would have been wolves and bears wild boar and maybe even sort of bandits in the woods it's exciting isn't it and now we have of course our squirrels pigeons maybe the occasional fox if you're lucky that old hut there in the clearing has a story or two to tell, I bet. Must be near the end of the season, I would have thought. Is a wicket caught out? Now, I could be completely wrong about this. I think these trees have the look of being pollarded. This is something I've only just recently really learned about via Ellie Wilson on our walk along the River Ching. And you can see the kind of gnarly fist there and the branches rising in an upwards direction. That's a sign where they've cut the branches away or lopped them away in the past. Yeah, I think this here, this effect, so it's like a hand with the fingers rising up. I think that is a sign of pollarding. See it there on that tree. And on this one here. It's a particular feature of Epping Forest. The uh, lopping day is coming up in November actually. I think there's a, some sort of celebration happening. Look on the uh, Epping Forest website for that. There's a big broad path through the woods now. The plains over there, overhead from, I think it must be from North Weald Aerodrome. I believe today, 15th of September, is a significant date uh, in the Battle of Britain. I think this was almost seen to be the decisive day in 1940 when the Luftwaffe made their final push to dominate the sky over Britain so they could launch an invasion. And this was the day when every plane, somebody posted this on Facebook on James Watson, the RAF put every available plane in the sky and that was the turning point when Hitler abandoned his plans to invade Britain. So I did expect there would be a few vintage planes in the air today marking this uh, anniversary. We've got two aerodromes near here, Staplefoot and North Weald. North Weald was a very important fighter station during the war. This is the M11. Not sure if we could make it out, but there on the horizon are the, the towers of the City of London. Beautiful straight track through the woods now. I think we're heading towards Greenstead and Toot Hill. the fields. This thing's way really is a, a delight certainly at this stage anyway. Every year around this time just as the summer's ending and then around kind of February March I start to plan a, a multi-day hike, a long walk, a really long walk. At this stage I'm thinking oh I didn't get it done this year I'll do it next year and I start to think about where I'll go. The Essex Way was one of the walks that I was always wanting to do and sort of planned out and I never seemed to actually end up doing it. This year I even bought a backpack specifically for doing a multi-day walk and I narrowed my ambitions down to a two-day walk and still for some reason I didn't actually 
forget to do it. Every time I plotted the time out to do it, something came in on one of the two days. It, it was, I can't explain it. <laughs> but again, I'm thinking next year <laughs> I'll walk, I don't know, the Ridge Way maybe, the St. Peter's Way, the Essex Way, a bit of the South Downs Way. I mean, to be honest, the walk itself doesn't really matter, does it? It's the experience of doing it next year. Incredible to think, really, that until about, what, 20 years ago, the tube used to run through here, from Epping to Ongar, through these fields. It's an amazing thought, isn't it? I think the last tube to Ongar ran, oh, I'm going to take a guess. I'm going to say 1992, but I'll put the correct date on the screen. My wife just texted to say, enjoy the sun. We might not have it for much longer. I hope she's wrong. I hope we get a few more weeks of this before the winter descends. I think this is some of the finest country walks around London. Just beyond the London Loop, but within the orbit of the city. view from up the top of this field here and that's the direction of Ongar over there somewhere I don't actually know where I am I must be sort of just over halfway I would have thought I love moments like this when you cross paths with previous walks poking through the trees up there you might be able to see a water tower I'll zoom in and I walked past this field here in the dusk that New Year's Day when I walked out to, I think I got as far as Greenstead, I think. I met a guy in that tree line over there who was hunting with his hawk. It's quite an extraordinary thing to encounter in the dying light by a field. Yet more glorious views. If this is the last days of summer, it's certainly been a beautiful send off. The last uh, blackberries here, and these ones are really delicious, really warm, been heated by the sun, and they're delicious. There's a beautiful aroma of uh, apples in the air. So of course we're coming up to apple season, aren't we? There must be an orchard on the other side of this hedge to my left. I love the idea of going to the, uh, the folk club in Toot Hill Village Hall on Friday the 20th. Just got no idea how the hell I'd get out of here on a Friday evening. So this is the field. That I attempted to navigate in the dark that New Year's Day and came a cropper somewhere over there. You can see, look, you can see where they've dug it up here, yeah, that dark patch. This is the trick there's a little hollow way that runs beside the field that you access via a little bridge, and that must bypass the ditch. It's funny when you look back across a landscape and you see your former self. There I was on that dark ridge there, just about there, in the pitch black, stumbling around over those deep ditches, <laughs> flummoxed, and ended up climbing up the hill and calling a taxi actually from the, those row of houses over there. The mark of the uh, West Essex Ramblers. Put this gate in here. Just coming up to Greenstead now, which I believe has quite a notable church. I've spent quite a bit of the summer guiding a series of walks for 
Waltham Forest, London Borough of Culture, the first London Borough of Culture, and it's been a real pleasure, I have to say. It's been particularly lovely to meet people that watch these videos on YouTube and via my blog, and that's been really special. I massively appreciate people booking tickets and coming along. And particularly, I have to say, Kathleen, who came all the way from Boston in the United States <laughs> to come on the walk along the Dagenham Brook. I believe he's coming back for the Pole Hill Walk. Amazing! Still got a few more to do, but also I'm making um, a video of each walk as well. And I'll be uploading those from the end of September up to Christmas, so look out for those. Slightly different to these walks in that they're aimed so you could watch the video and follow the actual walk that I did, a lot more prescriptive than these. Um, but I'm really enjoying that project, so massive thanks to the Borough of Culture team and the curator William Gilinski and uh, Russell Frost, the map maker, and the wonderful people that have come on the walks with me. Ian Bourne, Lucy Harrison, Ellie Wilson, Rachel uh, Lilly, and David Boot. Been invaluable co-hosts on those walks. Right, crack on with this one now. Come into Greenstead and then on to Ongar. <laughs> Magical, beautiful little wooden church out here, just beyond London in the Essex countryside. The gentleman there who was there locking up the church said, oh, you're doing the Essex way. <laughs> Which is great, it's the first time when I've been on a long distance path that anyone has uh, made the connection. Very close to Wongar now. I think I'll get the bus home from there if it's running. The final field into Wonga. You can see the houses there on the far side. What an incredible walk it's been. Not there yet though. It's um, six o'clock exactly. There's a, there's a bus back to uh, Epping in about half an hour. So I'll just uh, quickly scoot up the high street and I'll show you a bit of that. Maybe as a kind of like a closing end credit sequence or something. <laughs> but I just want to take this opportunity whilst we're in the beautiful fields to thank you for coming on this walk with me today. It's been amazing and apologies the uploads have been a bit been a bit thin on the ground through August and September. As I was saying earlier I've been very busy with the uh, Borough of Culture walks and uh, the associated production that goes along with that making the videos for that. Um, but it means there'll be a real plethora of videos from October through to Christmas. They'll be coming thick and fast <laughs> and I appreciate your patience. Um, so this is lovely. Interesting to get a bus back through the countryside I just walked along. Eh? See you on the next walk, wherever that may be. Who knows? Well, I kind of do know it's going to be the Borough of Culture walks, but hey, beyond that, <laughs> who knows? Very kind of quaint and cute looking high street. And what a name, Ongar. Oh, 